Microsoft bringing AI to the front line. Yep. So uh, what is new product, new capabilities? These are new capabilities that they have put into Copilot in Dynamics 365 field service and also in some of their um, retail um, retail solutions for 365. But th right now there are 2.7 billion frontline workers. That's more than twice the number of desk bake desk desk-based workers. Desk-bound, desk-based. Yeah, yeah desk-bound, or what some people call knowledge workers. I don't think that that's a, a nice thing to say um, because frontline workers are very much knowledge-based workers, but yeah. um, over 60% of, this is from a Microsoft um, work index study, 60% of frontline workers struggle with having to do repetitive or menial tasks that take away from their you know meaningful work and half are burned out on their jobs. So Copilot and Dynamics 365 field service, just a couple of things. Simplifies work order creation by pre-populating details from emails or chats that are in Outlook or Teams. Techni technicians can optimize scheduling based on factors like travel time and skill set. They can draft customer response message within Dynamics 365. Um, they can review upcoming work orders, share details, use remote assist for troubleshooting. And then soon it will support frontline managers for shifts, apps, data, sources to provide insights and prompts. So really it's just giving the frontline workers all of these tools that a lot of people will have in 365, like all of these co-pilots. So I saw actually earlier, I was I was watching your 6.5 podcast on the road with Lenovo. Thank you. <laughs> it was good. I, I do love the on the road. I feel like there's just such a fun energy to that. But you know, you talked about like we started with consumer applications with search and then enterprise SaaS, and then we go to being able to use proprietary data to make people jobs better. And that's when it really gets interesting. So now being able to take it to frontline workers where, you know, a lot of their day is like filling out forms and filling out sh and figuring out shifts and, you know, just prioritizing things. And if we can make their jobs easier, one, it's really hard to staff for a lot of those jobs. But also there's the communication aspect. And I think that Microsoft is really focusing on that part of it. You know, a lot of frontline workers, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a big percentage of frontline workers that don't even have company emails. Yeah. So to be able to you know, use something like Teams to get those like, you know, push notifications out to a big group of people. So kind of integrating all of this sort of next gen AI into the frontline brings these frontline workers into not just the the full like kind of company culture and dynamic but it allows them to concentrate on the work that they need to get done not just all this backlog of paperwork and and it also eliminates the mistakes that are going to be made by you know like you know what happened with my fireplace recently that was probably just yes. a mistake that somebody forgot to log when my house was getting built and it ended up being you know a very costly mistake for the builder and a very big pain in the butt for me so, you know, this kind of stuff, it's, it's really important for frontline workers. And I think it's, it, I think it's great that Microsoft is paying attention to that. And it's a huge, huge market opportunity considering the number of workers and how many, how many problems there are to solve there. And they're doing the same for retail. And then, you know, you know, there's a million problems to solve there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting uh, up to date uh, in a few weeks, New York City, Microsoft's event. I think we're going to see... A lot of AI, like we've heard from Microsoft uh, since uh, November, and who knows, you might be going too. 